open data, about open government, about open internet. Uh, a huge thank you to Internet NZ and to Ellen Strickland in particular for the huge amount of effort they've done in putting today, today together. We've got eight events happening in five cities across two countries and, um, and it's all being done as a non-profit with pretty much everyone involved, including myself, not being paid <laughs> to do it. Uh, so it really is uh, a lot of effort, but we know that you all appreciate it and all of us appreciate having the Sertium down at our end of the little end of the, of the world to, uh, to talk to us. So I uh, just want to say thank you to Ionet, who was one of our major sponsors. You can see the rest of the sponsors up there on the thing, so I won't go through them all, but um, it was very much with all of their very generous support that we were able to make this happen. So thank you all very much and enjoy the evening. Thank you, Peter. <coughs> um, open is important for Internet New Zealand. Our, our byword is open and an uncapturable internet. Um, we are um, seeing this as being an opportunity to blatantly advertise uh, NetHui uh, for uh, British visitors. HUI is a Maori word meaning meeting or forum and it's our equivalent to a multi-stakeholder forum in New Zealand. Uh, we're holding that uh, in uh, early July and the theme will be the power of an open internet. So this is an excellent opportunity to advertise that and for shadow that. Um, there are a few inventions as far-reaching as uh, the one that Sir Tim Berners-Lee has been responsible for. Um, first there was the internet. Then came the World Wide Web, the TPP protocol, and the browser. And between those three critically important inventions, the biggest internet, inter information revolution the world has seen, certainly since the invention of printing, but my, my contention is that since the invention of writing, printing was a step along the way, of course, but it introduced problems, gatekeepers, people who could control the flow of information, introduced the concept of copyright, and various other issues which have been both useful and less useful. The World Wide Web and the browser and the internet have done away with all of that. We have only begun to see, we're in the Model T age, of the World Wide Web and its consequences. It depends on an open internet, an internet which is not constrained by governments or by uh, commercial considerations. A significant factor in all of this is that there is no patent on the World Wide Web. I don't know what Sir Tim's um, personal circumstances are, but I know he's not a billionaire. He has not made a fortune out of this. This has been a gift to the world which we should all be grateful for, and which many other people have made fortunes out of. So, um, uh, my very, very great honour and privilege now is to introduce to you Sir Tim Berners-Lee. Uh, he is the Three Count Founders Professor of Engineering Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's also Professor of Electronics and Computer Science at the University of Southampton in the UK. Is director of the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, which is a web standards organisation because web standards are still evolving and developing. He's a fellow of the Royal Society. He's been the recipient of several international awards, including the Japan Prize, the Prince of Austerus Foundation Prize, the Millennium Technology Prize, and Germany's Die Quadriga Award. I think I was uh, pronounced that correctly. He was knighted in 2004. And in 2007, he was ordered the Order of Merit. Uh, in 2009, he was elected a Foreign Associate of the National Academy of Sciences. And he is author of Weaving the Web. Uh, it's my very great honour and privilege to introduce Sir Tim Berners-Lee. 